Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. One of my most important things I want to try to get across today is that it's important to be at peace with where you are at in life. Coming from somebody what's been through a lot of ill health, a lot of misfortune, you could say. Just in the last year, my family has been through for some very rough things and going back a few years, it's been a really, really difficult time for some of my family members, some of which are no longer with me. It's difficult to sometimes comfort a loved one or a friend in a time where all around them the world seems to be caving in on them. And by me turning around and saying to you that it's important to be at peace with where you're at in your life may actually come across as an insult, but it's nothing, nothing which couldn't be further from the truth. It's about a compassion. It's about an understanding. It's about a sense of acceptance that actually right now in my life, where I am, it might be tough, it might be difficult, but do you know what? I am where I'm at and I'm gonna meet those where they are. I'm gonna take a breath, I'm gonna make sure that where I am at my life right now, that I'm content and I'm at peace. And this, the, let's put it this way, the seas may be unsteady, they may be rawly, there may be lots of rubbish going on in your life. But acknowledging that actually you're a strong individual, there's one of you in this world, storms pass, my friend. So being at peace in where you are in life, it almost gives you that little bit of certainty and that little, little bit more sort of confidence, that encouragement that actually this is gonna pass. You're gonna get through this. No matter what we go through, I always think to myself that things could be worse. Things could be a little bit more worse. Now, we may be thinking that we're going through the worst thing in our lives. And do you know what I've been now? I've been through some of the worst things in my life. And then actually when you take a breath and you think, do you know what, this could be a lot worse. This could be a lot worse. I'll share it with you. May the 31st, 2021, I lost my nan, who is my absolute world. I've been blessed in this life to have incredible parents. And my nan was my third parent, my mum's mum. I love my mum, my dad and my nan with all my heart. And as I say, I've truly been gifted in this life. The day I lost her, I really felt that my life was over, to be quite honest with you. I really felt that I couldn't go on. I felt that there was just bleakness, darkness. And for the first couple of days, weeks even, I felt that. I just had major surgery and I really did feel that and I felt like that I couldn't go on. But you know, through all the tears and all the heartbreak, I actually realised that, you know what, there is a sentiment of peace among all of this. That actually my nan's suffering was over and that my nan was always going to be my nan for all eternity. She's up there with the Lord. She's watching over me. Now, I took a sense of peace from my situation, even though I was in my darkest hour with grief, that my amazing mum was still with me. My amazing dad was still with me. I had a wonderful family around me and I had all of my nan's beautiful memories and love and comfort and hugs. I still had that here and I had that here. That didn't go. Yes, I lost my nan, but I was at peace that actually, do you know what? That storm was the worst storm of my life. And I've been through some nasty things after that as well. But do you know what? Nobody is ever going to take away the fact that she will always be my nan. And OK, because I can't give her a hug right now and I can't hold her hand, it doesn't mean to say that our love is any less. It doesn't mean to say that that bond we have isn't there, because it is. It's there and it's bound because it's special. Make peace with where you're at. Because do you know what? In your darkest, darkest times, you're not going to see that. But in a couple of days later, with whatever has happened, okay, with whatever has happened, whether that be the worst thing in your life, there will be an element of peace that actually, do you know what? I thank the Lord that it wasn't just that bit more worse. I thank the Lord above that it just didn't happen this way. There will always be an element in peace. Now, you... You may think to yourself, OK, then, Bradley, you're banging on about that. How on earth do you explain tragic things which happen to people, young people, accidents, tragedy? Taking a moment, OK, and sometimes there is no explanation. There is no words. When I talk about the element of peace and that we have to take comfort from that is that, do you know what? We can go through our worst ever experience in our life, but there will always be that sentiment of peace in something whether that be the person you turn to, whether that be the love you fall back on in that horrific moment, there will always be that element of peace. 
God bless. And if you want to drop me a question or a query or anything at all, or even just something what you're feeling, I'd love to help. Honestly, if you're thinking, I'm not really sure what Bradley's on about here, then in a way, that's a good thing because you haven't been through those worst times. But if you have, then let's, let's talk about it. Leave me a comment down below. But honestly, it is true. Having walked 31 years on this, on this planet, gone through a whole bunch of all different things which really, really tested me in life, honestly, being at peace with where you're at, with whatever you're dealing with, is a huge strength. And it's almost that next step to getting through that storm, that next step to reconciling relationships and love and friendship, or getting yourself out of a financial uh, dispute or, or an issue or whatever is is your sort of storm and worst scenario ever at the moment. Taking a step back sometimes and being at peace, taking time to think and process and then that element of peace comes to you. It almost hits you. On that note, God bless and take great care. And I look forward to seeing you real soon. Bye for now.